Hey guys, how's it going? As you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better. My fever has gone down. I'm actually at 97 degrees, so I'm not really sure what that means. Still have a little bit of a stomach thing, um, but I'm feeling a lot better. But not fully enough to go to the gym, so I decided just to go for about a 30, 45 minute walk. There's a school right by our house with the track. And I actually haven't been here while I moved, since I've moved here, because it's really been hot and can't deal with hot weather. So it's really nice. Just walking around, have my iPhone and music, and uh, just going to enjoy my little walk. And if I can't handle it anymore, then I'll stop. People have been so nice to me today. Almost every person that I encounter had stopped me to compliment me on my tattoos and ask me where I've gotten them done. And um, unfortunately, I don't really keep in contact with most of my tattoo artists. Either they move around or they're just too busy, like uh, Max, I really haven't spoken to him. And these guys I got in the city and the guy doesn't work there anymore. I went to the mall to go shopping and uh, every person in a store or just walking by, come on doctor, okay, <laughs> just would compliment me and it was, it felt so nice, I felt like, yay, look at me, look at my tattoos, gonna go in the bed, oh god, thanks, thanks for that push, you're handsome, you haven't been in one of my vlogs lately, I missed this, oh yeah, Nice. You stay right there, <laughs> and I'll stay right here. You want to tell everybody what a good kitty cat you've been? Yes, I've been so good. He was very good while I was sick, even though he's like 16 pounds, and yesterday I was, my fever when it was 101 degrees, he was like on my lap, and I was literally sweating so much, and his skin was sticking to me, and I was like, oh, God, gross. So uh, I'm glad that I feel better and that I can pet him and no more fever. Um, a little a little congestion, but I'm not sure that could be allergies. And I still have an ear, some ear clogging issues due to allergies too. And it's really quite frustrating, but what are you gonna do? As you guys know, the East Coast got an earthquake. Woo! Started in Virginia, DC, North Carolina, New York, Massachusetts, and I even heard Toronto. I unfortunately did not experience the earthquake. Tom, who actually works 10 blocks from where we live, felt the earthquake, but I didn't. I'm kind of bummed about it. I really wanted to feel it, but it's not really such a big deal. Like everyone's going crazy about it. Because I remember having an earthquake back in the 80s when I was a little kid and I remember sleeping and the whole room started shaking and I freaked out and that was cool. I was like, what the hell is going on? I must have been, I think, I don't know, seven, seven or eight years old. So if anyone is a true New Yorker and was around in the 80s, you would have known about the earthquake and know that this is not a freak out session. That was a freak out session because trees and stuff fell down. Oh my, oh my arm. This is just nothing. Some rumbling and rattling. Cats didn't even care. They were just like, meh. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. But my mom in Long Island said that her neighbor felt it. And my sister actually lives in Virginia. Um, they were home and they knew right away that it was an earthquake. And uh, they're all fine, which was which is good. Do you guys think I should start vlogging down to my birthday, Jillowine, in October? Or should I, ooh, sorry. Should I do it starting September? Let me know in the comments down below, which means that I vlog every single day, Saturday and Sunday until my birthday. Woo! Chubby! Gonna be really old this year. Gonna have a freak out, freak out moment. I did talk about the weight loss 
challenge that I want to do, but I'll talk about it maybe uh, tomorrow or in Thursday's video. I don't feel like talking about it now. I'll just, I'll just wait. I don't know. Talk to you guys soon.